What's up everyone, welcome back to Skyrim and huh? we were going to talk to the Jarl in the last episode about the capturing a dragon. Let's see what the Jarl is going to say about it. I know probably he's not going to be happy because, you know, who wants a dragon in their palace, right? Seriously. But we are going to see what's going to happen. Hey, what's are up? Are you feeling sick? No. What, the, what, what kind of question is that? What hey, what's is up? it that you need? I need your help, I need to trap your dragon. Uh, Directly. I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. What? We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. So angry, can hardly stand it. Father what you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city with the threat of war on my doorstep? Come on, bro. There must be another way. The risk is too great. All of you. The world eater himself. Yeah, dude. But how can we be here and otherwise? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your man. Then we are just going to talk scheme. to General Tullius and the uh, agree to a truce yeah. will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. I, Hrothgar, is neutral territory. If the what was that guy doing? Willing to host a <laughs> Just peace passing between us. Then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Oh, okay. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war in the bud. Okay. So now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to so we are just going to talk to Alduin, I right? serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Okay, who cares, dude? Can we just fast travel there? Hi, Alduin. Seems like we can, so we first need to go out. Okay. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Shut up, dude. Let's fast travel, baby. Okay. Do we have anything here? It's still empty. I mean, they don't really deliver stuff here, right? I thought you, they would. I mean, huh? it's been some time since we just came here and checked this chest. Now, where's Agnir? He has to be this way, right? I'm just following, you know. If he's there, probably like sitting or was I supposed to go down from somewhere like this? Yeah, he's sleeping. Hey, wake up, old man! God damn it! Aldrin, we heard the dragon run shout from here. You defeated him. Yeah. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin. But without the Jarl's help. 
Yeah, they will Arthur listen eventually. Has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Okay. Yeah, where has Odin gone? The old tales say that he can travel into Sovngarde to devour the souls of the dead. You must find out how he does this before he regains his strength and returns. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sky above, voice within. Yeah, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna lose some food here, you know? Because I might need them later. Potion of regeneration. This must be regeneration. Wines. Are you guys been drinking here? Okay, so we just need to talk to General Tullius and Wolfric. Oh. Right? Where is the map, boy? Solitude. Let's go to Solitude. One of our clients is there. And let's talk to him. Let's talk to him, right? Where are we supposed to go now? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. So what do we have now? Um. I love me to introduce myself. My name is Sid Gear and I have the honor to be Jarl of the Proud Ancients of Falkreath. The fame of your exploit of Skyrim has brought you if you're interested in becoming a thane of Falkreath Hall, I invite you to speak to me next time you're in Falkreath. Aside from the honor that I cures the title, my thanes are entitled to be to a personal hard skull. I also can tell you my can privately that I but I'm already a thane God might for someone, right? A man with his weapon drawn. Am I am I correct? Yes, I am, right? Yeah, can we go inside? Just directly without not learning anything. Okay, is this General Tullius? Hey, what's up? Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? It looks like you have like some the reason to be here, citizen. Right, Helgen, one of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Legate Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being in prison was all a terrible misunderstanding. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. 
General. You people and your damn Yarrow. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Aldrich's making a move for White Run, then we need to be there to stop him. Can we just You're ask a question and leave? Latitudes, but this I don't time, really give speak a with Legat Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. Yeah, I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards. God damn it. What do those old hermits want with me? Peace. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Um... Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. Nice. For all the good it will do. Yes, sir. You okay, now we are going to leave. Sense of honor. Sir. All right, we cannot steal them, right? Damn it! That would be great if we can. You my know. eyes open. These damn dragons could swoop down at any time. So now we need to fast travel one more time. To uh. To where, dude? Oh, War Windhelm. Okay, let's talk to Brick Stormcloak. This is the guy that we have first met in the first scene in the game, right? As far as I remember. But oh. If I'm what are you doing, Lydia? Okay, making weird noises. I'm just following the arrow, you know, from the map. This must be the place. It looks like a palace. Yeah. Fine. Now that's some fine armor. Good old fashioned. Stay away from the Oratino residence. The place is cursed. Hey, what's up? Well, the Stormcloaks are finding victory across We've the We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. I remember you. You were in Elgin with us. Yeah, boy. Now join the war. Speak with Garmar. He handles the new recruits. Oh, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Garmar. What does bring you to What's this one? It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this. Unless Tullius himself will be there. Tullius gonna be there. Yeah. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire can throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. So you'll come, dude? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us. He's against us. He knows that. They all know that. What are you talking about? How bro? long are you going to wait? Molly. I'm not much of a scrap. Like Molly. If that would have been great. Okay, we... Shoving a sword through his gullet. We are now the going to is... talk to Agnir, you know? Probably just gonna tell him that, you know, Disrespect the law they have all agreed to join a meeting. Um... Yeah, let's fast travel there and see what's gonna happen next, right? You cannot fast travel that gentleman with Paul. Why is this happening? I was not even jumping or running. That was weird. Because it's happening for the second time. In the same episode, I guess. 
do we have new deliveries? No, we don't. Okay. No one is really caring about the graveyards. As it seems like. Because they have not been eating any food, it looks like. Uh, why are they waiting for me just like that? Hi, dude. What's up? So, you've done it. Yeah, I've did it. Why when not? violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. Graybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, dude. I'll Ace? try my best. I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodlet. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proven. Okay. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Okay, where am I going to go now? So. Wow, everyone is already here. You know why. Okay. Are you going to let us in or not? Uh, I'm just gonna steal some snowberries from there. Why not? Okay, what am I doing? Let's sit. Can we just take some wine? Anyway, I'm just gonna sit. Yeah, sit everyone. Let's start discussing. To create a peaceful environment in the Skyrim. Before we fight a capture and a dragon. Isn't it El Esber? Delphine. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Negotiate a truce. Okay, let's try to do it. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. It's not that. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concord Act. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. My Izmir's beard okay. has the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Um. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me, but I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Elfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No, not this time. Okay, now this. That that's, settled, that's a weird situation, we okay? I have something to say first. Uh, what's Very that? Dull. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to We're resist. We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragon. Nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Yeah, let's... Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. 
This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving lasting... Don't we have a paper and pens? Therefore, you know, we can take the like minutes of the meeting. <laughs> all right. Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Ellison. General, oh. this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Ellison, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, <laughs> you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like oh. to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Well, I have no idea what to say here, to be honest. What about Riften? And Winterhold seems like a fair trade. Markarth versus Riften, Winterhold. Let's go for Winterhold, why In not? In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied. Okay, let's go for Riften then, bro. Why are you even Plus asking? All me? the mead we can drink. Okay. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. Heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. As for well, you, I cannot General make everyone Thomas, happy. You know. I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markar. You're as deluded as your emperor when he signed away our freedom to Nathalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pitiless agreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons mean? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... If he's right about Ulfric, <laughs> we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, okay. back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Yarshal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the dragon... Ah, damn it, man. Although I'm I always doubt make the... Thing. You know... First decisions. Say you, okay, I agree. Empire shall turn over Falkreath. The Empire doesn't have to give it over. Okay. If I say the otherwise, you know, he's probably just gonna leave. 
and there won't be a trace. So I'm just gonna, you know, agree with him. That's why. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. Okay. These are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoom will return as Jarl. Okay. You both agree to this? Please the agree. Sons of Skyrim will Please agree. To their as long as the Imperials hold Please agree, dude. What about you, Elisir? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisir. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. I'm off, I'm off. Okay, that's have nice. have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Thalgroth. I hope. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I have, Elisir. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons in this room. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that all this has laid out. Yeah, I mean, how does it help us? You see, the names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts, by calling the dragon with his voice. Oh, okay, so we are going to call the dragon. He might be. Okay. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Orgrim, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your So what's the dragon's name? Ah, Seriously. I'm no master of course, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Oda Dean. Winged snow hunter, I believe. I hope this truth gives you what you need. Okay, everyone just step okay. That was fast. Hey ugly, how you doing? There's one more thing. We know about Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. What? He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Why, dude? Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Do we have to kill Parthenax? I mean, why does it need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Oh my god, dude. Okay. 
So we need to kill Fartanax. Not even a good thing. So, what am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do? Let's see. So we need to go out first, right? Sorry, sorry. If we want to fast travel, we need to go out. Okay. They are all leaving, by the way. So I'm just gonna end this episode here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And that, that's, uh, you know, that has been a long episode compared to the other ones, but, you know, it was fun. It was nice. And actually, it was very, you know, exciting for the next episode. Especially in the last seconds. Last minutes and last seconds of the episode. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching up to this point, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.